Okay, so welcome back to the stand. We're now going to look at Fanner's range of chainsaw protection boots. Um, what you've got here is a range of seven different boots. Uh, from left to right, they range in price, from left to right. Um, they also, the reason behind that is because of the use of premium materials. So there's different manufacturing techniques, different components used, and the price increases accordingly. Um, the three boots on the left were launched in 2019. That's the newest boots from Fanner. Um, they all are class two chainsaw protection boots and the ones on the right are class one chainsaw protection boots. In the same way as the chainsaw trousers we talked about, class one um, offers 20 meters per, sec per second uh, chainsaw protection speed and the class two is 24 meters per second that your saw is running at. Um, so as I said, the three on the left are all class two, the four on the right are class one. Um, these ones have been on the market for over six years been slight design tweaks over that time but these are premium boots and um, the two in the middle rely on the leather for their waterproofness and the two in the right use a Gore-Tex membrane the, the new ones that launched in 2003 they use Sympatex for their waterproof membranes so that's just an example of some of the different components and materials used so now we're going to look at each one in individual detail and give you a quick overview to help you choose your next chainsaw boots the Fanner Pilatus boot is the first boot that Fanner have designed to aim for the arborist it's a lightweight boot, it's around 1.35 kilos for a size 43. The eyelets are flush with the leather, um, which reduces the wear on your ropes. The sole of the boot is less aggressive than other designs, which means when you're climbing through the trees, it is best for the bark of the, of the tree. Price-wise, we're looking at £180 for that pair of boots. The next boot is the Santis boot from Fanner. Uh, launched at the same time as the Pilatus. This one is more for groundwork. It's a good all-rounder. The um, Class 2 boot here, it's weight-wise, it is around 1.39, 1.4 kilos for a size 43. The sole in the boot is more of a, a walking boot style sole and the price point for that boot is £220. So a great all-rounder. Um, those two boots launched in 2019 have been popular and as you said the Pilatus a bit more popular with arborists. The next boot is the Boa chainsaw boot. This is a special boot. This is the first ever, first boot in the world um, to feature the Boa system on a chainsaw protection boot. The Boa system is a quick easy to use lacing system. You push the button in and turn the dial to tighten, you pull it out to loosen the boot. The laces are made from a strong wire, so very, very hard wearing, unlikely to get uh, snapped or torn. They can be cut, they can be cut with scissors or a knife, but um, very hard wearing and it would just be unfortunate if that was to happen. Um, you've got a lifetime warranty in that lacing system, but this boot, um, beyond the laces, the actual features of the boot make it one of the lightest boots that we have on the market. Um, the weight of that boot you're looking at about one kilo for a size 42, but to compare it to the ones we talked about, you look at 1.1 kilos for a size 43 boot. Uh, it looks a bit more on a, a Wellington style, so we're finding it is more popular with ground workers. It's got a nice walking boot sole, uh, Vibram sole, uh, as all the boots do. Um, and yeah, it's a good all-rounder, um, but we, we feel that for more, for a, 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 you know, ground work is probably its, it's, its strong point. So the Boa boot is an excellent all-rounder and price point we're looking at £235 is the recommended price in the UK for the Fanner Boa chainsaw boot. Now the next boots that we're going to look at are the Tyrrell range. There's two boots, they've got the same design, same soles, same sort of components, but the noticeable difference is the colour. One's black, the one on the left is called the Tyrrell Fighter, the one on the right, the brown one, is the Tyrrell Euctin. The main difference, or the only difference really, is the leather. So the Tyrrell Fighter is a three millimeter thick military grade leather, which makes it very durable, provides a little bit of insulation, but that high quality leather means that you do not require a, a waterproof membrane. The leather itself provides the waterproofness of the boot. The boot that you're looking at, the Tyrrell Fighter, um, weight wise, you're looking at around 1.4 kilos for a size 43, and the price point is 265 pound. Really good, strong walking boot sole, and with this boot and the Euctin that we'll come to in a moment, you can also add crampons and fittings to give you extra grip to that sole. So the next one, the Euctin, very similar boot. It's 
10 pound more expensive, it's 275 pound. It is a heavier boot. You're looking at 1.46 kilos for the size 43. The reason it's heavier is that the leather is thicker. So rather than the three millimeter thick, this is now five millimeter thick, Russian grade military leather. So there's a lot more insulation with this boot. Very popular if you're working on mountainous areas and cold weather conditions. Um, you do require to care for these boots more so than the, the ones that we showed you earlier on. Um, the natural leather needs a bit of care and conditioner applied and you need to just be able to maintain and clean your boots um, with that. This is the Fanner Zermatt boot. It's a personal favourite of mine. This is my favourite one in the lineup, and it's one of our most popular boots. The weight of the Zermatt, it's only 1.3 kilos for a size 43. So compared to the Pilatus and Santis, it's still a lighter boot. In part that's because it's only class one chainsaw protection, but this boot is one of our, our most technically advanced and uses the most premium materials. Excellent leather, a fantastic sole. It's a nice high sole, which means if you're using spikes, if you're, if you're climbing, uh, you won't feel your spike through the sole, it's a nice thick sole. We class this as a climbing boot sole. Uh, you'll see it's not got the, the, the walking boot pattern. It's great for climbing, nice and grippy, uh, going through the tree. One of the things that people that wear this boot comment on the most is the support around the ankle and the comfort in the boot itself. It's got a really, really comfortable uh, shaft part uh, where your foot goes in. Really, really good and you've got nice support in your instep and throughout the ankle. Price-wise for that one, it's £265 and a really popular Gore-Tex membrane, high quality boot made in Northern Italy. The next boot is the Fanner Matterhorn and this is us at the very top end of the market. Uh, not just Fanner but the whole, whole chainsaw boot market. The Fanner Matterhorn boot weighs 1.28 kilos for a size 43. It is got a range of components, it's got a walking boot sole and um, the part you're looking at at the moment you can see there's a plastic insert that gives you your Achilles more support if you're working on steep embankments you don't need it, you just unclip the button and slide that out um, but it gives you really good support if you're working on steep terrain and you're needing support in your, your Achilles area so a very very comfortable boot as soon as people put it on they comment that it really is a comfortable boot you can feel the quality of the materials and, and, and the design and the, the, the craftsmanship that has gone into this boot the sole is excellent you've got the rubber rand that is keeping the, the leather upper attached to the sole and giving it a bit more duration uh, and durability you can resole this boot um, people have resoled it two or three times the upper really does last and you should be get, getting you know, a good 18 months, two years out of this boot before you're looking at resoling it. Um, but the upper will last for many years, as long as you wash them, give good care. Um, but yeah, an excellent boot. Certainly it's more for ground work. We wouldn't normally recommend this for uh, climbing. It's a stiffer boot and it's yeah, very popular with forestry workers uh, throughout the industry. Price-wise, £340 for the Matterhorn boot. So it's a jump up from all the others. Um, but yeah, a popular boot for those that want the best, best kit.